Welcome back to the channel. It's New Comic Wednesday, and I'm very excited because I just read some new books, and they were pretty good. Now, unfortunately, it was a bit of a lighter week. You know, it varies week to week. Sometimes it's heavier, sometimes it's lighter. This week was pretty light, but regardless, pretty solid books. Now, before we get into the books that I read this week, I'd like to take a brief moment to talk about our sponsor, me. I sell prints on Etsy with designs that are characters from Marvel, DC, anime, Star Wars, and more. Now, I, these prints are already pretty affordable, but for you, my special gift from me to you for buying the things that I make and helping support me in what I do, I'm going to give you a special coupon code here. Use the code SWITCHPRINTS and you'll get 15% off your order pretty solid deal. Check out the designs. I hope you find something you like. And if not, well, maybe I'll make it soon. I have 40 designs and counting. I keep making more, so I'm a mad lad. It's what I do. Now, let's get into talking about some comics. Like I said, short week this week, so I'm gonna try to, you know, it's not probably gonna be too long of a video, but we're gonna start off, well, I picked this up. I didn't read it because it's a trade, but I'm excited for it. I got Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir. Very, very cool, awesome cover. I just flipped open to a random page when I was looking at it. And like every random page I look at is awesome. But there it is. I don't know. I mean, you know, spoiler alert, I guess, for a book that's been out for a while. But look at that. We got the, uh, uh, oh crap, what was her name? Which, which mother or something? I don't know. I can't remember. That is definitely not her name. But, uh,. Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, I'm excited to read it. Um, and then we're going to move on. Okay, I didn't read this book either. I bought it for the cover. Big Peach Momoko fan, so I had to pick up the Peach Momoko variant of Women of Marvel. Now, I might get around to reading this at some point, but I might not. I just thought it was a really, really cool Scarlet Witch cover. So, like I said, big fan. I know many people up at the shop are also big fans of her work. And we didn't have a lot of copies, so I had to go ahead and snag one. I'm sorry, not sorry. It is what it is. Uh, moving on to the first book that I actually did read, we have, I almost said Return of the Valkyries. That was the last one. This is The Mighty Valkyries. Now, this is a two-part story. You get half the book is with Jane Foster. Actually, I feel like it's most of the book with Jane Foster. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But at least a part of the story with Jane Foster and a part of the story with the new Valkyrie that you met in Return of the Valkyries, there was the King in Black tie and if you didn't read it, then there's a new Valkyrie. I don't know what to tell you. She doesn't know who she is, and she's kind of on a quest to figure out who she is. She's been trapped and locked away for a long time, but pretty good read. I do really enjoy it. So there's different writers and different artists working on each story, and let's see. Um, ooh, Mattia de, de Ilu? I Elus? Elis? I don't know. I don't know how to say his last name. It's too many, too many vowels, and it's just a little ball blurs all together. But really, really solid artist for the first story. I mean, the, the second story's good too. But oh man, I really, really like the art. Let me see if I can just find a good panel that won't like reveal anything. But it's just some really solid art. Hold on, there's one that was like, I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Oh, here we go. It's a nice, beautiful panel there of Jane Foster in her Valkyrie mode. And just, it's like has a very realistic looking quality to it. And I, I really, really like the, especially the art. The story's cool though too. It's kind of, you know, setting up some things. So, you know, it's an issue one. Give it a little time to breathe. But pretty solid start, I thought. Now, we're going to check out, I haven't been reading The Avengers, but, you know, I've been reading The King of Black tie-ins. This is, what, 40, 45, I was going to say 46. 45, though, um, pretty cool. Now, I do feel I've missed out on a lot. I kind of know vaguely what's going on. My brother's reading the series right now. I plan to eventually read the series because I have heard that it's good. But it's on issue 45 right now, and I'm obviously behind. So I might get caught up at some point, but that point is not now. It also has my boy... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just saw him, I just saw him. Has my boy Robbie Reyes in it. Again, not really trying to spoil things, but I mean, he's part of the Avengers team. 
He's been part of the Avengers team for a while, I know. Um, but pretty cool book. I kind of... It's uh, the King of Black stuff's really done. This is it's kind of a weird tie-in. It's more so like this is what happened after uh, the King in Black event. Uh, so, which kind of makes sense because this is the I think the last King in Black tie-in. I could be wrong, but kind kind of makes sense. I, I guess I don't know. Could have not really been a tie-in. I feel like. Uh, and there's no fighting of, of uh, symbiotes or anything going on in this one. So if you're looking for uh, fighting of symbiotes, you might actually want to pass on this one. Um, but pretty cool, pretty cool story. I mean, it was kind of mainly a lot of setup again, kind of seeing where all the different characters are at. But moving on to Alien number two. Now this book I was very excited for. Didn't care for the cover A, but this is a solid. Which is, I mean, because I really like Anyuk Lee's work. But it was it was like the dude, you know. The I don't even remember his name right now. Cool character. I like I like what's going on. He's the the necessary you know person you have to follow and everything makes total sense. But I want to see aliens on my cover. <laughs> you know, I want to see the xenomorphs on my cover. And this is a striking you know between the yellow and just the black of the alien. So we get to see a little bit of alien action in this one. Um, which the first issue was lacking, but you know, you had to set up the characters, get them in the environment, so we can have them with the aliens. And this is just a little peek, just a little peek, but uh, pretty solid. Again, you know, some more setup. Uh, you gotta get the characters in their positions and whatnot. But I really like the first issue, really like this issue as well, and I'm very excited to uh, see where this series goes. I think it has a great writer, and I think it has great artists. So, I'm, I'm very excited, and I'm also excited to see when... I know Predator's been delayed, but if they're doing Alien this good so far, I think we have a you know good shot of at Predator being good, too. Hopefully it's being delayed to make improvements or make sure that it's being done right or something. I'm, I don't really know all the details, but please give us a good Predator comic. That'd be amazing. Now, uh, last book that I fully read was Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade. Number two, I think this is a limited series, but I cannot recall for the life of me. This is also the cover <laughs> cover B. I really like the cover A. I made a tough decision. I've been telling myself, cut back on, on variant covers. I'm trying to, trying to do good by it. So I didn't grab both covers. Had to gra grab the Elsa Bloodstone cover, because I love Elsa Bloodstone. Super cool character. But the cover A is really solid, too. Like, I'm, I'm very tempted... To still pick that cover up it is a good cover but this was the clear winner for me anyway if it's not uh, too much of a spoiler again i'm sorry but it's kind of fairly obvious elsa bloodstone pops into the story um and i quite like her this book i this series so far with the two issues has this weird struggle of when they're trying to set up like exposition it can be quite tiresome but then when they're just using the characters, it's really funny. <laughs> and I really like this book. It, this, uh, there's this particular line that actually like made me just audibly, very loudly, just just laugh. Like <laughs> it was just like ah, you know, just just a uh, uncontrollable e eject out of my mouth. And uh, there's a, there's a couple other moments that are funny too. But I, I really like the writing for the characters. It's the only thing that's really holding this book for me, uh, holding it back for me, is that they just have this, I don't know, they, it's the old timey speak and everything that's setting up exposition and half the time I'm just like, I'm kind of lost. But unfortunately it's not, I mean for, fortunately, it's not the whole book. It's just parts of it. And hopefully it will wither down the farther we get into it. But regardless, really enjoyed this book. I, I really, really like this book. Don't want to make it sound like it was a big negative. And it's got some cool things going on with it. Especially the first issue um, had a lot of, had a new thing. I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read it. It had a brand new thing that uh, for the Black Knight. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. Now, last book I got was Carnage, I say that wrong every time, Black, White, and Blood. I always want to say Red, White, and Blood, or, uh, I don't know, some mixture of the wrong title uh, sequence. I'll throw in blue in there sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, 
Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number two. This is also the B cover. Um, now, I, again, I think the, the A cover was Inyuk Lee as well, and I feel like I'm hating on him, but we actually ran out of cover A's um, when we were doing our pull list, so I, I took a cover B. It's a pretty cool cover, though. It does have Venom on it, and they're kind of battling or something, and honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. Not a super huge fan of the black, white, and uh, red color scheme. I feel like it can be kind of hard to tell what's going on sometimes, especially if it's just like the same red everywhere. I feel like that's the hardest part. Now, I understand this is all supposed to be carnage, so like it makes sense, but even like in the title, like you kind of just lose the title. It's kind of hard to read what it's saying. I mean, you, you can easily see white and, but, you know, black and blood is, is kind of hard to see. It all just loses. And Venom is very clear. Like, you can very clearly see Venom. It looks great. Um, and that's, to me, what really saves this cover. But um, I read the first story. It's uh, written by Donny Cates. And if anything, this is more of a King and Black tie-in to me because it kind of resolves Carnage after King and Black. Um... So this take you know this takes place after King of Might. There's two other stories in here. Haven't read them yet. Uh, flipping through the art right now, kind of looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. The second story looks pretty good. The third story, maybe not as much. It's very again just like big splashes of red. I mean I guess it's pretty fairly easy to read, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not completely crazy about it. But regardless, ooh, that's a pretty, ooh, that's a pretty cool page. I'm sorry if you don't want to see it. Avert your eyes. Anyway, uh, I, I really like the Donny Kate story. I wasn't even going to read this at all today, but I flipped through to see who the writers were, and I was like, oh man, they got my boy Donny Cates doing some more symbiote stuff, and you know, he only has one more issue of Venom. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and read this. And then well, there was one more thing. Where was it? Where was it? It was a preview at the end of a book that I read. Maybe it was Avengers? Yeah. Apparently, they're doing a new Moon Knight series in July. Where did I read it? Where did I read it? Uh, coming in July. Yeah, there it is. Coming in July, a new Moon Knight series. I didn't know about that. That's awesome. What's even better is it's by Jed McKay a writer that I have recently come to really, really like. He wrote the Taskmaster miniseries, and then he's also been working on Black Cat. And I like both of those books a lot. Taskmaster better because, mainly, be, I like the character of Taskmaster better, but I like Felicia Hardy as well. She's a cool character, but I really, really like Taskmaster, and I feel like he did him so much justice. It was a really, really good miniseries, and I recommend it to everyone because it's funny, it has action, it has grit, it has fear, it has everything in this convoluted character that is Taskmaster. And I love that miniseries, it's great. The ending was a, didn't quite go the, uh, how I thought it was going to go, but it's fine, it's fine. The whole story, the adventure was great. Um, but that's it for this week, that's all that I have. Now, I will be back Friday with my brother. We're going to be reviewing the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And if you want to catch that, or possibly the video we do on Sunday, which is going to be an incredible comic haul video with a slab, lots of cool um, minor and... Eh, was there any major keys? There's some, you know, minor and slightly above minor keys. I don't know what you'd want to call it. It's just, you know, got to be more of a gray area between uh, minor and major keys. But it got some pretty pretty hot books right now. Honestly, pretty fat stack of books over there. And a really awesome, nice key uh, graded slab. 9.6. I'm going to reveal that to you. It's a 9.6. Still don't have a 9.8. But I got it at a pretty good price. But if you want to catch up on those videos, hit the subscribe button. Please, it helps me out so much. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video or any video or if you enjoyed life even, hit the like button for me. It means the world to me. It helps to potentially grow this channel into something maybe one day that'll be big and, and luxuriant. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying words. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat some food now. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. 
and I'll catch you next time. Ah.